everybody. Welcome back. Um, I made this video um, to get us off to a good start so I could show you some things. Um, you should have joined Zoom and taken attendance. That's another assignment for those of you that are new to the class. For those of you that are not, you're well aware. Um, that needs to be completed within five minutes or you'll be marked late. That's basically it. Um, sometimes I do these um, instructional videos to give you a good background or if there's something I want to show you. Here, on the day of, it'll be linked right in the assignment once I uh, finish making it. But you can't see it now because I'm still making it. Um, the first task I had for you today was to create an economics folder with the economics link and the economics spring schedule. That way you're digitally organized. See, I have mine all set up, but I don't have my links. So that one I'll actually do. And the other ones I'll kind of just pretend. Okay, the easiest way to do this, right click on the bookmarks bar, which should be showing. You'll know it's showing because it comes right underneath. If it's not showing, go to the three dots, go to bookmarks, and click show bookmarks bar, and it should pop up. Once you got it set up, choose add folder, and then where it says new folder, type in economics. You can just do econ if you want to make it really short. I think economics is okay. Click save, and you probably don't have nearly as many as me, so it's not a problem. But if you have as many as me, just drag it up to the top until you can see it, okay? Once you and then click save, I'm gonna click cancel because I already have one, but you should click save and create one. Then you should see a folder pop up. Next task, open the links. So you click on it, boom, it's here. Let me make it a little bigger. Um, it's just starting, so it'll grow as the year grows. Uh, let's see, let's get rid of that. Um, and then bookmark it in the same folder you just created. How do you bookmark? Click star. And then boom, it comes in economics because I was just working on that one. And choose done. And then it should pop up in there. See if it worked. Here's what, if it doesn't pop up right away when you click the star, you click here. And if it's not in the one of these ones to select, do choose another folder. It's in there somewhere if you've created it successfully and can see it. Okay, once you put it in there, double check that it's in there, boom, economics link. I'm gonna move it up to the top because I like to order it to be a certain way. And schedule. Okay, so next thing I'm asking you to do is put the schedule in there. So click on the schedule, same process. Click on the star. Put it in economics, click done, and then check. So mine's in there. If you want it in the same order as me, just, just click on it and drag it to where you want it. Okay. Um, if you want to do your Google Classroom, it's probably a good idea. Keep that available in the tab. Um, go ahead and go to your Google Classroom, and same thing. Where you right click it in here and economics and done. Mine's already in there, so I'm going to really delete it. If you want the name to be shorter, you could notice I titled it Government Economics, so I didn't have to make a new classroom. Um, I did kick everyone out and bring everyone back in because I wanted to make sure it was linked with the Aries, it had nothing to do with you. Um, whether you're new or continuing, everyone's going to be started in the same boat. That's it. Um, when you're done in the chat, please type in uh, econ folder all set or ready for the slideshow. Either way, ready for the slideshow or economic folders created. That's it. So what are we doing next? Next thing you're going to do is copy and title the unit one fundamentals of economics note taking sheet. So you click on this and you make a copy. And you make a copy, choose the file tab and select make a copy. I encourage you to add your name here. I'm gonna make this one Sienna Smith in honor of my awesome daughter. And oh, I like to delete 
the original I copied right after to make sure I'm typing in the right one. And then titling it means you put your name, date, and period in there every time. Do not fail putting your name, date, and period on there. So many people were doing it in my last class. I'm kind of annoyed about that thing. So if you are missing your name, date, and period, I'm gonna take off 15 points. I couldn't debate this with you, I'm gonna just do it. And now my title is done and I don't have to worry about losing 15 points. Um, instead of doing a new note-taking sheet all the time, we're just gonna do one per unit so all your notes are in the same spot. Otherwise, it's gonna be pretty similar. Uh, today, I'm gonna lead you through the, the lesson. So actually, you can just write ready when you finish doing this. I will give you some direct instruction and I'll give you the link for the slideshow. Look in the chat for the link. It should be already in there. That's it. Um, it's always good to double check the directions though. So we copied this, then we're gonna, we're gonna follow the slideshow, which I'm gonna lead, complete your notes, activities, extra credit, and open note quiz during note taking. You're not gonna submit anything today. The notes are gonna be submitted when all notes are complete. Okay, here's the one of uh, the original versions of the slideshow, but you're gonna get the, the instructor led one in the chat. That's the one I want you to select. Okay, that's it. Again, uh, type the word ready when you're ready to move on into the chat or give me a, a digital thumbs up, if you please. Thank you so much.